I suppose when a bit of content is left in the dust, items that originate from said content start to rise in value, creating some exceptional money makers with, in this case, low requirements. In this video, we'll talk about a money maker people are literally sleeping on, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content, be sure to subscribe. Now, the moneymaker we're going to be talking about today is located at Hetz Oasis, which is nearby the Alcrid Lodestone, and this place nowadays seems fairly empty. And this emptiness is reflected in the price of some of these items, as the supply is low and the price is high. Since we are going to focus on the hunter training method, you're going to want to build the flower baskets in the southeast section, which require 5 teak planks and 10 steel nails each. I prefer to use the southeastern spot due to its layout, as two whirly gigs spawn close to shore in the thinner section of the water. The Flower baskets are used to convert the existing whirly gigs to a certain type depending on your hunter level and which powder you want to be making for money making. Now the hunter method itself is really straightforward. You click on the crocodile and basically catch these whirly gigs floating around on the water. What the crocodile you're handling does is go up to the whirly gig and eat it and then eventually drop its shell on the shore. While doing this, you can stack up to three additional Whirly Gigs for more experience while it's swimming towards the Whirly Gig to chomp it. While this will not provide you with extra shells, it will provide you with extra experience and catches to use in the upgrade store. Which, by the way, you definitely want to get. So when doing this method for money, you have two different options. Either you focus on experience and money, or it's a little less active and you just click them one by one just to focus on money making. But that will be very bad experience. It is worth noting that the single catch method is actually a really good way of doing this very casually if you have the automatic looting upgrade, which will automatically place the shells in your inventory at 2,500 catches from the upgrade store. One final thing worth noting about the method is if you don't keep up the flowers in your flower baskets, when they drop below 25, you may see a plain whirly gig pop up here and there. In that case, right click, fill up your flower basket, and keep going. So which whirly gig should you be catching? Well, currently the three main flowers you'd want to use are the roses, irises, and hollyhocks, ranging from level 30 up to 90. You should avoid all other flowers, shells, and powders as either the input cost is too high, for example, with the golden roses and the powder of pen, or the output, whatever you're making, is just so low that it's not worth putting your time into actually getting those shells. For example, the level 71, the hasty shells, and the powder of pulverizing. So focus on these three. Let's talk some numbers. So when doing this method, you can expect to gain around 324 Whirligig shells per hour, and with the 25% double chance on the upgrade store, you can expect around 405 rounded off. This means you should be able to make around 21 to 27 powders per hour, as you want to sell them in powder form and not in shell form. Selling them as shells or selling the shells separately is a waste of your time. You're going to get way less money, just don't do it make the powders yourself. It requires 15 shells per powder. This is also how I calculated the profit per shell by looking at the net profit from the powder selling on the Grand Exchange, dividing it by 15 and boom. This is the amount of money or profit you can expect per shell. And as you can see, funnily enough, the lowest level one, the roses, are the best profit. For whatever reason, the powder of protection is selling over 850k on the Grand Exchange, and I've even had a buddy of mine sell them for 1.2 million each, slowly. At 56.4 thousand profit per shell, this means you're able to make 18.2 million GP per hour at level 30 hunter without any of the upgrades. That is utterly insane. If you have the 25% double chance upgrade, you can make near 23 million GP power at level 30 hunter. Let that sink in for a second. Level 30 hunter making up to 23 million GP power and the input costs are virtually non-existent. The level 50 version is a little less profitable at 13 to 16 million GP per hour, depending on if you have upgrades or not. And the level 90 Hunter version is 7.6 to 9.5 million GP per hour. Still very respectable, especially if you consider that this is a very good Hunter training method. You can catch between around 1200 and 1320 Scarabs or Whirly Gigs per hour here, depending on where you stand. If you stand near the corner where the crocodile doesn't have to go as far, and you click on Whirligigs near the shore and then click the furthest away ones for the stacks, you will get 1,320 catches for the upgrade store and experience worth of 1,320 catches. The experience per hour per type you can expect at 1,320 catches is on screen.
screen now. Now in the shop you can buy experience upgrades and at 3000 catches you can increase the amount of scabs you can stack up to 5 which in theory should give you 66% more experience However, in reality, it's more like 40 to 50% as I've tested with my buddy Loot Shark who helped me or assisted me making this video. This means with all upgrades, you're able to get 980,000 Hunter Experience Power Base here at level 90 Hunter, which is very, very good. And even if you only catch 1,200 Scarabs per hour, you are still going to get 891,000 Hunter Experience per hour with the five stack upgrade. And this is exactly why I think people are sleeping on this method. It's good experience, it's good money, and it has barely any requirements. Even for Hunter, you know, 30 Hunter is nothing. This is an incredible training method I can recommend to pretty much anyone training Hunter or looking to make some money. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.